Welcome to the Windows Club. If you feel that the volume is too loud on the lowest setting on your computer, then either read through this article on the Windows Club or simply watch this video. I'll guide you through the resolutions. First of all, check for hardware issues. Just in case you are using a new microphone or a new headphone or a new pair of speakers, in that case, try switching to the older one and see if it helps. The next solution is to check for the media player. Some media players actually boost the sound a lot. For example, VLC. With VLC, you can push the amplitude up to 200% of the original sound. So if that is the case, then you might have to check for the settings of the media player or change it altogether. The third solution is to update the audio drivers. Go to intel.com and search for Intel driver and support assistant in the Intel search bar here. Download the software and then go to this page once again. Click on this option download all corresponding to the latest software updates. The next solution is to run the hardware and devices troubleshooter. Simply copy the code mentioned here. Press the windows key and the R button together to open the run window. Type this command here, copy paste it and hit enter. This will invoke the hardware and devices troubleshooter. Click on next to run it. The next solution is to change the system volume. Go to the system tray and click on the volume icon and from here you can manage the total system volume just in case you did not change it till now. Lastly, if everything else fails, maybe it could have happened because of a third party application. In this case, a clean boot will help you isolate the cause. Press the windows key and the R button together to open the run window. Type the command msconfig and hit enter. This will open the system configuration window. Go to the services tab. Check the box associated with hide all Microsoft services. If any other service is checked, please click on disable all. Then select apply and finally click on ok and then click on restart. Isn't this easy and interesting? If you have any doubts, please go to the original article on the Windows Club. Scroll down to the comment section and write your query. We will surely answer to it. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.